Siobhan Binney to take one. Wait a First thing I would say is politics is in a real mess. We have public standards. Who will be the next mayor of London? I think the biggest area that you'd want to change is the inequality. You know, we, we have a brilliant city, it's the best city on earth, absolutely. But there are quite a few people, far too many people in that city that can't access all those brilliant things that London has to offer. And I think that's absolutely where the mayor should focus her attention. Yeah, I'm a Londoner through and through. I was born in Wimbledon, um, grew up in Merton. Um, the only time I haven't lived here is when I was at university and then um, came back here and um, moved you know, one borough along, so now live in Kingston. Probably being a ball girl. I went to school in Wimbledon and you could kind of compete to be um, a ball girl at Wimbledon. And I was actually the first ball girl on number one court. That was, that was really good. I enjoyed that. Do you play tennis? No, <laughs> I don't. Uh, I worked in a hairdresser's um, just at the bottom of my road and I got to um, start shampooing people's hair. I wasn't very good at it though. I, <laughs> I used to drench everybody so they'd get up and they were like soaked at the back. So that was my first job. Oh, coffee, loads, buckets, buckets of coffee. <laughs> Every day going from New Malden into Waterloo, it's just shocking. I, I think it's terrible that that is so many people's daily experience now of getting into central London. That has to change. I love London, like with a passion. And as I say, I'm London through and through. My mum came here from India. My husband's French. I think I'm a typical Londoner in having that real mix. Um, if you get this right, you can make so many people's lives better by making London, you know, a more affordable, um, a kinder place, a greener place to live. Absolutely the top priority is going to be tackling knife crime in London, then air quality, air pollution, that's a massive concern for most Londoners. Beyond those two, I think there will be affordable housing and then looking at our transport system and making sure it's the most reliable, affordable and far less crowded, if possible, system than we have now. London's absolutely ready for a female mayor. You have to have different opinions, you have to have different points of view um, so that you can bring in policies and affect change that will work for everybody. So it's not a question of is it ready, it's about blooming time that we have one. <laughs>